What's this, you ask? Well, this is a twist on a regular Monte Cristo sandwich. This is a Monte Cristo one pan bake. It's yummy. Let's get right to it. The first thing we need is our ingredients. A pan that is one loaf of French bread, some eggs, of course some sliced ham, deli ham, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard, some salt and pepper, and of course that is a good cup, cup and a half of shredded cheese. So let's start with the bread. Now, because of the size of the pan and the size of the loaf, you got to kind of calculate how many slices you need for the pan. Three in a row, about seven rows should do it. So that's what we're going to figure. We'll neatly chop all this up. And then I'm going to try it out in the pan just to make sure everything fits. Kind of like that. So now i got a good idea of how it's all going to fit. We'll take all this out. We'll start building our sandwich bake. The first thing we need to do is we're going to take our ham. And we're going to just slice it in half long ways so it fits on the sandwiches. Now if you want to get really fussy, and it would probably work, you could then slice those into threes and kind of spread it out. I didn't. In retrospect, I think I would do that next time. So here's our bread. And this is a real simple uh, mixture to coat the bread with. It's a two to two mixture, two tablespoons of mayo. I'm at the end of the bottle, so I'm trying to dig out the end of the bottle. And along with that, two tablespoons of Dijon or whatever kind of mustard you've got. And then we'll mix all this together. Now in the interest of saving time, I'm going to do all these pieces of bread right now and just get them all stacked up and ready to go. So that way if I run shy or I don't, I have too much, whatever, I'm done with the bread. You're only doing one side. And that side's always going to face up. And I guess if you wanted to throw a little bit of salt and pepper on it too, go ahead. I didn't, but it occurs to me the salt and pepper is going to stick to the mustard and mayo, so why not? And I'm being fairly generous with the mayo and mustard. I like it if you don't go a little easier on it. And that's just going to make it nice and mushy when uh, it comes time to eat. I think we're pretty well done here. I got all the pieces I need. There. Let's put this baby together. Here's our baking dish. Don't forget to lightly grease it. Now the tough part's going to be the first couple layers because I don't know about you, but they're going to fall no matter what I try doing. Once you get going, no problem. And at this point I was more concerned about the cheese not holding up. Because you put the ham down next, then you put the cheese on top. You know what? In the end it all worked out. It just looked a little messy at first. Now you don't want to overdo it with the cheese, but at the same time you want to make sure that you use all that wonderful cheese. And that is shredded Swiss, of course. And we're just going to follow the same process through each of the layers. I probably could have done one more before I propped it up. See how it's fallen down there? I was kind of thinking, well, you know all the cheese is going to sink to the bottom. It might do that anyway. Now don't use all the cheese because you're going to spread the top a little bit. So if you have a little leftover, that's fine too. You 
Here we are at the very end. Now I gotta push everything forward so I can get the last pack of three pieces of bread in. There. Well, I'm kind of glad I uh, pre-did this. So what little trees I've got left over, we're going to sprinkle it on top because why would you ever let that go to waste? Okay, so we're done that part. Let's bring in a bowl. If you got a measuring cup that's big enough, use that. Our eggs are up. So one, two, three, four eggs. And I got my measuring mug out and we're going to throw in a half a cup of milk. You know, if you got cream, you want to use cream, go ahead. It's not going to hurt anything. So we're going to dump that into our eggs. Just like that. And this is the part where you could throw in your salt and pepper. That's a teaspoon or to taste. You know, a little bit more, a little bit less. It's all up to you. You don't even have to put it in if you really don't want to. You could put mustard powder in if you want it. So that's mixed. We'll set it aside. Now here's the tricky part. We've got to pour this evenly into our pan, which becomes a bit of a problem, you can see, without a spout. So that's why I suggested a measuring cup, but it's okay. We make do. So that's about as even as I could get it. Eh, it'll work. Throw some tin foil over the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna it just needs to be covered so it doesn't dry out in the fridge. And it's going in for an hour. You know, you want to leave it in for two or three, it's not gonna hurt anything. If you're busy doing other stuff. Okay, there we go, lid off. Now it's got to go into the oven, 375 preheated, of course, for about 30, 35 minutes. I think 35 to 40 is probably better till it looks like that. That looks great. So now I'm sprinkling icing sugar on the top because a Monte Cristo sandwich comes with icing sugar and preserves. I'm not so sure I care for the the sweet in it. it just wasn't my thing but hey the options there for you so here's what I told you with the ham slices that it's probably better to cut them into threes the strip because I'm having a hell of a time to see how it all came out the whole strip of ham came out with one scoop which is okay if you want all three pieces of bread but what if you don't so next time I make this, for sure I'm going to cut that ham into three equal pieces for easy egress of our dish. So we've got it on a plate. There it is. Yummy. And there you have it. That is a Monte Cristo one pan bake. That was fun. Hey. Another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.